Welcome to the Recovering Aboriginal Channel. I, your host, Messiah Davis, would like to thank all who come and view my videos. And before we get into this video, I want to give my loyal honor to the Most High, Creator of the Universe, Maker of the Heavens and Earth, the Supreme Ruler of all. I, your humble servant, to you higher, I give you the glory. May the words that comes from this vessel be as pleasing to you as a Sabbath day sacrifice. Amen. To the Negro, Black, Colored, Native American, Afro American, Indian, Indigenous, Sovereign, Maxwell, King Drought, let us find the truth, Hiram Art, and all those I didn't mention who who puts in the put the puts who puts in the work, gives out the info out there. Thanks to all of you for your efforts of trying to awake those that those that are asleep under the ghost spell and to uplift those on their on their knees to stand upright. May Haya Haya keep and protect his servants that perform these tasks of enlightenment to the lost, bringing us back to the glory of God. Haya Haya. Amen. Okay, my today's topic is going to be on a series. I don't know how many uh, particular parts is going to be to this. It's kind of a, a long series, maybe. I'm going to say five at the most, but here's part one. And it's the title of it is The History of the Papacy. And uh, since we've been on the topic of... Uh, Dumb Diverses and Marcion. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit more into the church and give you some about the papacy. Uh, I know a lot of it might have been covered already by Brother Lex, you know, because he's already moving at a faster pace than most of us. But I'm going to put in my efforts and show the Most High that I, I'm trying to study and to show myself worthy. So, chapter one, book one of the history of the papacy, origin of the papacy. The papacy, next to Christianity, is the great fact of the modern world. Of the two, the former, unhappily, has proved in some respect the most powerful spring in human affairs, and has acted the more public part on the stage of the world. Fully to trace the rise and de development of this stupendous... Okay, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Let me get back to you. Uh, uh, fully, to, fully to trace the rise and development of this stupendous system. Uh, were to write a history of Western Europe, the decay of empires, the extinction of religious systems, the dissolution and renewal of society, the rise of the new state, the change of manners, customs, and laws, the policy of the court, the war of kings, the decay and Revival of letters, of philosophy, of the art, all connecting themselves with the history of the papacy. To whose growth the minister they minister, and whose destiny they have helped to unfold. On the wide, on so wide a field of investigation, neither our time nor our limit permit us to enter. Let it suffice that we indicate, in general terms, the main causes that contributed 
to the rise of this tremendous power and successive stages that mark the course of its potentious development. The first rise of the papacy is undoubtedly to be sought for in the corruption of human nature. Let me read that again. The first rise of the papacy is undoubtedly to be sought for in the co corruption of human nature. Christianity, though pure in itself, was committed to the keeping of imperfect things. Let's go back to it. The first rise of the papacy is undoubtedly to be sought for in the corruption of human nature. Christianity, though pure in itself, was committed to the keeping of imperfect human beings. I'm sorry, it didn't say human beings, imperfect beings. The age, too, was imperfect and abounded with cause, causes, tending to corrupt whatever was simple and materialize whatever was spiritual. Society was pervaded Laid it on all sides, the, the, sensu the sensuous and material influence. influences. These absolute unfitting the age of for relishing and especially for retaining truth in its abstract form and for preserving the beauty and grandeur of a purely spiritual kind of the symbolic worship of the Jew heaven appointed had taught him to associate religion to religious truth with visible right and to attribute considerably more important to the observance of the outward ceremony than to the cultivation of the inward habits or the performance of the mental act. Now my brother Lex always rubs Lex King Drop. We we, we 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 say we we uh we we express inwardly uh the uh the European responds outwardly. He he expresses outwardly. We express inwardly. So inward habits are the performance of mental acts. Greece, too, with all its generous sensibility, its strong emotion, and its quick perception, and keen relish of the beauty was a singularly gross and materialized land. Uh, its voluptuous poetry and sensuous mythology had unfitted the intellect of its people for appreciating the true grandeur of a Temple and spiritual system. Italy again was the land of God and of arms. Its voluptuous poetry and sensuous mythology had up unlift, unfitted the intellect of its people by appreciating the true grandeur of its simple and spiritual system. Italy again was the land of God of and of arms. The former was a type of human passion 
and the latter those lightning lighted by occasional gleams of a heroic virtue and patriotism exerted on the whole a degrading and brutalizing effect upon the characters and the genius of the people withdrawing them from efforts of pure mind and from the contempt uh, contemplation of the abstract and the spiritual it was in this complex corruption that the, the degeneracy of the individuals and the degeneracy of society owing to the unspiritualizing influences then powerfully at the work at work in the Jewish, the Grecians, and the Roman world that the main danger of Christianity consisted. And in the, this element, it encountered an antagonistic, an antagonist a thousand times more for, formidable than the sword of Rome. Amid these imperial matters did the papacy germinate though not till a subsequent age did it appear above ground. The corruption took a different form. The corruption took a different form. The corruption took a different form according to the prevailing system and the predominating taste of the various countries. The Jews brought with him into the church the ideas of the synagogue and attempting to graft the institution of Moses upon the doctrine of Christ. The Greeks, unable at once to learn, uh, unable at once to unlearn the lesson and cast off the yoke of the academy, attempted to form an alliance between the simplicity of the gospel and his own subtle, subtle and highly imaginative philosophy, while the Romans loath to think that the heaven of his God should be swept away as the creation of an unbridled fantasy, recalled from the chain as we would from the dissolution of material heaven. And though he embraced Christianity, he still clung to the forms and shadows of the poly polytheism in the true reality, truth and reality of which he could no longer believe. Thus the Jews, the Greeks, the Romans were alike in that they corrupted the simplicity of the gospel. Thus the Jews, the Greeks, the Romans, were alike in that they corrupted the simplicity of the gospel. But they differed in that each corrupted it after his own fashion. There's another um, Serapis Crustus, uh, Baal Zeus, uh, all these corruptions. Minds there were of a more vigorous cast originally, or more largely endowed with the Spirit's grace, who were able to take a more tenuous grasp of truth and to appreciate more highly her spirituality and simplicity but as regards to the major majority of, of converts especially toward the end of the first century and the beginning of the second it is undeniable that they felt in a in all their magnitude the 
difficulty now enumerated. Okay, we'll stop right there for a second, and I want to go take you to where is he? 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 All right. Marcion. Brother Lex talks about Marcion, but here, this is during the first century. Marcion redirects here for the Coptic English. Check the synod, uh, check, check dictionary. The Marcion software. Marcion of Seno was an important leader in the early, in early Christianity. His theology rejected the deity described in the Hebrew scriptures and in distinction affirmed the Father of Christ as the true God. The church father denounced Martha and he chose to separate himself from the proto-Orthodox church. He published the earliest extant fixed collection of the New Testament book making him an important figure in the development of the New Testament canon. His theology rejected the deity described in the Hebrew scriptures and in this station affirmed the Father of Christ as the true God. So my question is, who is the Father of Christ as the true God. The church father denounced Marcion. And he chose to separate himself from the proto Orthodox Orthodox Church. He published the early his extinct fixed collection of the New Testament, making him an important figure in the development of the New Testament canon. So we have, this is first century. This is before Christ. Before Christ. His life. His life. Epiphanes. Epiphanes. Recorded in the Paran that Marcion was the son of a bishop in Pontus. His near contemporary, contemporary Ron Rhoda, Rhodo, described him as a mariner, or Tortillian, described him as a shipmaster, a navigator. Marcion made a donation of 200,000 cisterns, cisterces to the church in Rome. Conflicted with the Church of Rome arose and he was eventually excommunicated. His donation returned to him. After excommunication, he returned to Asia Minor, where he continued to lead his many churches, church congregations, and teach the Christian gospel in its Marcionic version. Marciana version. According to anti masonic sources, Marcian teachers teachers were was the Simonian Simonians Cerdo Irene Irenaeus writes that a certain Cerdo originated from the Simonians. Came to came to Rome under the Hygienius, Hygienus, and taught that the that the one who was who proclaimed as God by the law and the prophet is not the father of our God Jesus Christ. A heresy. In 394, Epiphanes claimed that after beginning, after 
claim that after beginning as an ascetic, Marcion seduced a virgin and was accordingly excommunicated by his father, prompting him to leave home, his hometown. This account had been doubted by many scholars who consider it malicious, malicious gossip. More recently, Bart D. Ehrman suggested that the seduction of a virgin was a metaphor for his corruption of the Christian church, with the church portrayed as the undefiled virgin. Okay. Similarly, Dalpho and Tertullian claim that the prescription against heretics, written in circa 200, that Marcion professed repentance and agreed to the conditions granted to him, that he should receive reconciliation if he restored to the church those whom he had led astray. But that was that, but that what he was prevented from doing so by his death. The study of the Hebrew, his teachings, the study of the Hebrew scriptures, along with writings circulating in the Nasset church, led Marcion to conclude that many of the teachings of Jesus was incompatible with the actions of Haya. I'm going to say Haya with Haya first. The God of the Hebrew Bible. Marcion responded by developing a the ethos of the thesis system of belief around the year 144. This notion of two gods, a higher transcendent one and a lower world creator and ruler allowed Marcion to reconcile his perceived contradiction between Christian Old Covenant theology and the gospel message proclaimed by the New Testament. In contrast to the other leaders of Nasset Christian Church, however, Marcion declared that Christianity was in, was in complete discontinuity discontinuity with Judaism and entirely opposed to the Tanakh. Marcion did not claim that the Jewish scriptures were false. Instead, Marcion asserted that they were to be read in an absolute literal manner, thereby developing an understanding that Haya was not the same God spoken of by Jesus. For example, Marcion argued that the Genesis account of Haya walking through the Garden of Eden asking where Adam was as proved. Haya inhabited a physical body and was without universal knowledge, omniscient, as attributes wholly inco incompatible with the Heavenly Father possessed by Jesus. According to Marcion, according to Marcion, the God of the Greek Old Testament, whom he called the Demurge, the creator of the material universe, is a jealous tribal deity of the Jews, whose law represents legal, uh, legalistic, legalistic, reciprocal justice and who punished mankind for its sin through suffering and death. Contrastingly, the, the God that Jesus professed is altogether different, being a universal God of compassion and love who looks upon humanity with benevolence and mercy. Marcion also produced his antithesis, contrasting the marriage of the old Testament with the Heavenly Father of the New Testament. Marcion held 
Jesus to be the son of the heavenly father that understood the incarnation in a docetic manner, i.e. that Jesus' body was only an imitation of the material body and consequently denied Jesus' physical and bodily birth, death, and resurrection. He says, Marcion held Jesus to be the son of the heavenly father, but understood the incarnation in a do docetic, doetic, doetic, docetic, setic, docetic manner. See what that is. Docetic. Docetic. Okay, I had to take a pause for a second. Docetic. It says, Marcion held Jesus to be the Son of Heavenly Father, but understood in the incarnation in a dope, docetic manner. I.e., that Jesus' body was the only was only an imitation of material body, and consequently denied Jesus physical and bodily birth, death, and resurrection. So let's go over here. So I did a docetic. It didn't give me, when I did docetic, it didn't give it to me, but then I said, so, so I, did, I just did the doc, and then here it is, docetic. It says, 1846, hearsay of the dose. Setae, who held that the body of Jesus was a phantom from Greek, Doketai, name of the sect, name of the sect, literally believers from Doken, Doken, to seem, have the appearance of, think, related to Doxa, the descent. So the descent. Descent is an adjective, 1530, proper to one's, one station or rank, also tasteful from Middle French descent or directly from Latin descentin. No, nominatively, nominative. Descend, descend, becoming, seemingly fitting, proper, present particle or decay, decay, to be fitting or suitable. Decay the root deck to take, except to receive Greek be suitable source of Greek to a piercing to accept. I'm going to uh, stop right here. We're going to come back with part two. But I know I didn't finish this, but we're going to well, have like a few seconds left. Uh, to take, accept, to receive, greet, be suitable. Source. Source. Also, greet, docain, to appear, seem, think, to accept. Show honor and gracious. Make offering, bestow, to teach. Grace, anointment. Meaning, kind, pleasure. 
is from 1902.